What's going on YouTube? This is Roger here and uh, I ordered some Bergia Nuda branches from Salty Underground and um, uh, to take care of some of my Aptasia that I've got going in both tanks. So this is my little unboxing video from Salty Underground. Um, it's going to be nothing special. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up for you guys. Show you kind of what I got going on here. But, uh, the reason I'm with Bergias is because I had too many to take out with my hand and I didn't trust any type of fish. Like, there's some file fish that eat it and, and Aptasia X didn't really work. So um, I tried, I've heard some good things about Bergias so I decided I'd try it out um, and I read good reviews. About, um, about Salty Underground and people having pretty good success with um, these new brands. So I got, I think it, I ordered 10 of them and five of which will go up here, five of which will clean up the frag tank hopefully. But, um, Here they are. So they're pretty. Uh, they're actually kind of cool looking. Let me see if I can show you guys what's up here. Maybe I can show you guys. Kinda. What's going on? So yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty tiny, but um, I think they'll do the trick for me. If you guys can see them, I'm trying out a new camera, so it's I'm just trying to get used to it here. But um, so it comes with this awesome pipette because you can't touch them because they'll basically fall apart. So you have to. Zoom back out here. Oh, let me zoom back out. Look at that. So, um, like I said, it comes with this awesome pipette, and you just kind of suck them up and put them in your tank. But that's after I acclimate them. So I'll come right back and show you guys uh, my acclimation process for these guys. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. Now I'm just gonna do a quick little uh, show on how I'm, I'm going to move them from the bucket that they're in um, over here. Maybe if I can show you exactly how I'm moving them around. Um, they're super, super fragile guys. So if you ever are ever um, ordering bird gifts, make sure you be very, very patient because they're very fragile. But basically you want to make a little siphon with, with uh, pipette. Get as close as you can to them and just gently and suck them in or let them go um, and then suck them up oh, I dropped them oh, oops uh, I don't have some trouble keeping them in the pet bed though oops Really. All right, so I got one in the pipette. Finally, it's a little bit of a learning curve. And then you're just gonna drop them over here in the water. They're very, 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 very fragile. Um, so, but if you ever order these, just make sure you be super patient because you can basically rip them apart. And for how expensive these guys are, I doubt what you want to do is rip them apart. So 
So I'll, I'll come back when I got them all in because it's kind of time consuming. Alright guys, I finally got, I think, all ten of them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, I have nine. I ordered ten, and the bag was empty. So either... Uh, oh no, there's ten. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, I ordered, ordered ten. And uh, all of them are in here. Um, this little black ball right back there is an anemone. Uh, not an anemone. It's an Aptasia anemone. So I thought I'd... Um, on that website, I recommended putting one in the Tupperware because they stress out during shipping and uh, having something to eat readily available for them is good. But now I'm going to show you guys how I acclimate um, basically anything that goes into my tank. Um, and I don't do the normal drip method because I'm just not a big fan of it. So what I normally do is I put it in the specimen container, hang it on the inside of my tank so I get temperature acclimation. Then I take a shot glass or a small glass, you know, um, 8 milliliter glass, not 8 milliliter, 8 ounce glass, and I dump in, you know, 4 ounces every hour, or not every hour, every 15 minutes for an hour, and usually works pretty well on um, anything I have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. Maybe I'll get you some close-up shots of water and acclimation, um, but so far they're pretty cool. They're all healthy. They're all cruising around. Um, only one of them looks really white, which is um, what they said they look like when they're starved. Um, so, uh, there's that. That's good. Um, so, everything should make a nice recovery once it goes into the tank. But I'll show you guys while they're being acclimated. So right now, um, I got the acclimation bucket in the tank. Um, right now there's not enough water in it to hold it perfectly flat and flush like this for you guys. There's too much air in there. So um, I'm just going to let it sit like this and as I add water to it every you know, 15 or 20 minutes, um, uh, it should drop down and be nice and level and be easier to take pictures of. Um, so um, that being said, I will be back when I release them into the tank. I'm going to try and um, put them near some of the Aptasia. Um, the odd thing is, is I have a lot of Aptasia in the overflow box and um, around uh, power heads and stuff, so I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do that. I might just leave, um, you know, four of them in here and take the rest downstairs because there's way more Aptasia downstairs that isn't so close to um, vortex and pumps and drain lines and stuff like that. So uh, that being said, I'll let you guys know what I decide and I'll try and snap some pictures of these cool guys um, with the new camera I just got, so um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, as I was acclimating some to the basement tank, um, I came back up here to um, put my next shot of water into the acclimation thing, and um, I noticed there are three neuter branches munching on that anemone I threw in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I'm try I'll try and get a couple pictures of it um, and put it at the end of this video, but man, it's actually kind of cool just seeing them group around it and just mutilated. I kind of want to leave it there until it's all gone. I think that'd be pretty cool, but um, as soon as they disperse a little bit, I will... Um, so I guess I'm trying to see. Um, I'll do my best to um, kind of capture some pictures of it before I let them go. But um, yeah, the ones in the basement have been released. It's been about an hour since I've gotten them, so um, those have been acclimated and released. Um, there's four down there, there's going to be five up here, um, since I actually only counted nine. Um, so I'll have to write a little review to Salty Underground, I only received nine. But I'm also looking for my shipment papers, which I can't find either. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab some pictures of that really quick, and then I'll show you guys when I'm releasing them. And uh, hopefully this takes care of some of the big Aptasia I got in this tank. Um, I have way more in the frag tank, but I have bigger ones in here, so um, that's why I thought maybe six, five would do better versus four um, down there. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys when they're all released. See you in a bit. Alright guys, uh, this is the last part of the video. I'm going handheld here, so if it gets a little shaky and out of focus, I apologize. But I want to make sure I can kind of show you guys what's going on um, with all the, the new critters I got. Um, first one... Um, I'm doing this all in live view. Is right here. I don't know if you can see them there. 
um, hanging out the bottom of that rock there. Um, I know I put five in here. Not exactly sure where I put them all, but um, there's one at the base of that acro. I don't know if you guys can tell there. Um, kind of off to the side there. Um, do my best to focus this. It's all manual because I'm doing live live mode, but um, I'm, I'm trying here. Um, you can see him kind of slithering around there. Um, the other one, I put one on this rock here, but it's it's gone. It it, it disappeared into the crack somewhere. Uh, they're actually remarkably fast for how little they are, so that's actually kind of cool. Well, I'll let it autofocus for now. Um, so yeah, this guy's already cruising underneath here. You guys can tell he's right there cruising. But um, I'll put one over here. Oh, there you guys can see him. And he's right in that crack there. Maybe if I come to this glass, might be dirty. But oh yeah, this glass is very dirty. Um, you can kind of see him right. And, oh, and the distortion from the glass is pretty bad, but it's right there. Um, that's what I get for shooting at an angle. But, uh, yeah, so um, I'll keep you guys updated on, oh, sorry, guys, on the Bergia Nuda Branch progress. Um, hopefully it gets rid of some of them, um, uh, or all of them. That would be kind of cool. Uh, and then if I get too many um, Bergias, I'll definitely think about selling them off, so... If you guys have an aptasia problem, I will definitely, if I have an abundance of these, I will go ahead and, you know, ship them out. Because apparently they're they're easy to breed in the aquarium. They'll sustain their own population, which is pretty cool from what I read. But, um, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, um, I do recommend Salty Underground. I'm going to email them about um, only getting nine. Uh, but the customer service was pretty good, so, um, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying your tanks, and... Um, in this nice summer weather, but uh, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy your tanks.